Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so in the previous video, we were discussing a couple of options and I want to talk about some of them that have been validated. So we have this one here. We were looking for that potential. We could actually look for a rejection to the downside. Looking at this as a five wave move that could develop. That is validated because we came too high, as well as that the alternative way of looking at this as a potential impulse. We we're already saying this was unlikely and we we're just waiting for that invalidation. That has not happened. As well as this idea that we could have had this as a diagonal here and then looking at this as a one, two. So that has also invalidated. So now we're still stuck in the same situation here that potentially we could argue that this is a fourth and we're looking for a fifth wave up. Alternatively, we could argue we've completed into this high. So the way that I'm currently looking at this is that we could have either completed here in this five wave move and we're looking for this as a bigger corrective move looking for this zone here of this uh, ideally this 28878 to this 26212 now i have got this higher target here towards this 29842 as a possible zone that we could look to continue from as a really rare wave two location and effectively what we'd then be looking for here is that potential of continuation to the upside now if we are looking at this in this way what we'd be saying is that we're looking for the potential of seeing a move up here towards this 1618 which should be this 39229 level now it is possible that this is, could still actually be within a wave two here and we could still be looking to come back down one more time so we just need to be aware of that that um, we could look to push away here but i need to see that impulsive structure develop because at the moment it is very choppy this move to the upside so we need to be careful of that idea that it could actually just be a corrective move now if we are looking at that possibility of a push to the upside here we were talking about also the possibility we could have a fifth wave developing here now we were talking about the potential that within this we could have something like this as one two three four and five as a diagonal pattern in which case this could actually mean that this fifth wave completes here rather and we're gonna to have to keep an eye on this because at the moment we just have a corrective move down we have a corrective move up this could actually start to form our a wave where we actually see a breakdown in a c wave here then we see a continuation up and then another break to the downside so this would be looking at this move actually completing into this high over here but like i said we need to be careful because this could actually be a really shallow wave two here so if we are looking at this as a diagonal until we actually break this low of this fourth wave here this 29500 we need to be careful of that possibility of extension to the upside so the way that that could happen is along these lines here where we could either argue that within this count what we have is a series of ones and twos where this becomes one two this becomes one two here and then effectively we're looking for that potential of continuation to the upside here now the problem is that within this count i was looking at this as one two three looking for a fourth and a fifth but now the fact is that we actually came down too deep for that idea so the next logical um, way of looking at this for me would actually be to look at this in this way where we would have to then say that this would be another one two this would be another one two because we've actually come down very deep here now there is potential here that this could turn into an impulse to the downside where this becomes one two three if we cross this 30,511 area this could align with the idea of actually having a five wave move to the downside and would mean that this whole structure here is more likely just to be a corrective move so we're going to have to uh, just be careful of that we're going to go over that idea in a second but as long as we actually hold this 30,327 though this would be a very strange structure if we are looking at a wave three and it's starting to extend out this would not actually be that uncommon to have a bigger wave one and two like this time wise the wave two is still comparable to this previous wave two here so it's not really worrying me that much what i would need to see here though is a much stronger break to the upside here we need to see a break up towards this 32,526 to confirm this and then we'd be looking for a fourth and a fifth another fourth and a fifth here so this would actually be looking for this possibility of forming a bigger five wave move up here which could then potentially look to um, extend this move out now what i mean by that is if we do get this as one two three four five here up into this higher range here of this uh, 33,377 to this 33,013 level that would align with actually having some extension within this count here where in either we are looking at this as one two one two in which case what we are looking for here effectively as a wave three 
would be this 32,179. So that would actually look to fulfill that idea of this being a third wave here. And alternatively, if we are looking at this slightly different, where we are arguing that actually what we had is a diagonal here, this is a wave two. What we could actually see is price push up towards this zone of this 33,073. So this is looking at the bullish case. Invalidation comes by crossing 29,500. So once again, we'd have this as a one, two. So this would be looking at this as a diagonal one, two, three, four, and five up here as a diagonal. This is a retracement for a two. And then looking for that continuation to the upside. But like I said, we need to see that follow through. If we actually lose this low here, this 30,000, 30,327 that would invalidate that idea of this being one two one two here looking for bigger structure up here um but until we actually actually invalidate that we need to just be careful because also this move down is just currently three waves now if we are looking at this and saying okay well maybe we actually completed back into this low over here and what we are saying is that effectively this counters in play and we're still looking for that idea of this bigger retracement to the downside here well, how could this actually play out? So the way that this could play out is in this way here, where we could actually look at this as our W wave here. This is an X, and then looking at the potential as this is ABC, because at the moment, this move to the upside here, all we have is a three-wave move. And now that three-wave move actually came up into our typical B wave rejection area here. And what I'm looking out for here is that if we start to develop a five-wave structure down that uh, looks to actually target out this 30,472 where this becomes one two and we actually see this extension down here towards this 1618 at this 30,472 this could align with this being a third fourth and a fifth so we'd be looking out for this possibility of a fourth wave again here and this fifth wave down towards the zone of this 30,399 to this 30,282 level now if we do see something like this this could actually be a running flat here where this is A, B, and C. So this could actually still align with that idea that this is a one and a two. Now that running flat um, target would actually be this 30,320 level. And that would align with actually coming back into the one to one of this as an A wave. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on this 30,320 level. If we do actually look to move down here, this would be right within our target box. Now, the key thing here is if we get one, two, three, four, five down, we're going to have to watch this retracement up. If we only get three wave move up, this could actually align with actually uh, the other count where we were already looking for a bigger five wave move to the downside here. So we're going to go over that one next. But what I'm looking out for here is that really until we actually break this low, this could still be within a bigger corrective structure where we actually see one more push to the upside where this either becomes A, this becomes B and we see a C or alternatively this becomes one, two and then we have that much more bullish case. So there are some, there is some bullish potential here, but we need to see this actually follow through. Now, if this actually starts to develop into something bigger where this becomes one, we get a deeper retracement up for a two. We could actually see price come back down towards this lower level here, which would be this one to one of this uh, W wave, which is actually sitting towards this 2948, 448 level. Now, if we do see price actually come back down here, we form this as one, we get a two, we get a three, we get a four, we get a five, and we actually look to push down towards this zone of this 29. 590 to this uh, one to one up here over here of this 29448 this would actually align with sweeping this low here which would make a lot of sense if we are going to look for you know continuation ups yeah we could actually look to come back down one more time and actually look to sweep this low and then potentially treat this whole move as a completed corrective structure from that point now the thing here is that if we do actually reverse back to the upside and we take this b wave high again of this 31,000 499 then we could still be looking for that potential where this is one two this is one two and then we look for a bigger push up or alternatively what we could just have that this becomes a b we get a c wave up here something like this where this could still be within this idea of having a bigger c wave down within this count looking for a y wave so this is the one way that we've been looking at it now the other way that we can argue that this is also looking to take place is somewhere along these lines where this is actually an A wave. And now we were looking at this as a B wave to the upside here. And it is still possible this is a B wave because if I actually throw on this um, time-based FIB extension here, what we can see is that 
the one to one of the A wave in time is actually here towards the uh, Fridays. So if we actually see price do something like this, and then we still see one more push to the upside here, this wouldn't actually make this B wave much bigger than this A wave and would still align with that idea that this could be an A, this could be a B, and we still see this C uh, look to play out. Now this would just be looking at this actually forming this as, like I said, we can have this as a flat here where this becomes A, B, C. We've come down here, potentially look to sweep some of these lows and then look to possibly even find support again on the central channel line here. Alternatively, you know, if we do come down too deep, then it becomes more likely that we are really looking to break down in a bigger way. And I don't really like looking at this as A, B, and C, but um, if we do start to develop a bigger five wave move from this high point here, what this could actually mean is that we could be looking for a C wave to the downside. Now we did take the origin here, so we always need to be careful of the idea of expanding flat where this could actually become our A wave, this becomes our B wave, and we look for the C wave down. And what we'd be looking for here would be a deeper retracement. So we'd be looking for something like this one, two, three, four, five. So one to one would make this a running flat here if we come towards this 29,555. Alternatively, if we do look for that typical expanding flat area, that would be lower down here, which would be looking at this um, this zone here of this uh, 29,099 to this 28,361. Now that would align with actually coming back into our, our bigger retracement area here. So if we were looking at this um, bullish case here, you know, this would align with coming back a bit deeper here towards this 382, towards this 0 0.5 area. If we start to develop this as a bigger flat correction to the downside here, potentially we could see price get gravitated back to some of these lower fib levels. So going to keep an eye on it. Um, that's the one way we could look at this actually breaking down from where we are. But it is still possible, like I said, that within this, we could still be within this B wave where this is A. We get a B wave down, we see a C wave up, and this is still A, B, and then we're looking for that um, five wave move down for that C wave. So that targets will be the same for this um, idea here, where we're looking for bullish continuation. What we want to do ideally is we want to maintain this um, support zone that we've got here. The 786 is going to be quite crucial. If we start to break down below this level here, then uh, it would be less likely we're going to see that continuation up. So we need to be careful of that if we do start to break down in a bigger way. And now the, the idea of looking to actually break down in a bigger way here is actually treating this move as a bigger W, X, and a Y. So we're looking for that possibility that within this structure, what we could see here is that this could be a W, this could be an X wave here, and we could be looking for a Y wave. Now, if we're looking for a Y wave, this could be looking for the idea of something like a flat to the downside, then a three wave move, then another three wave move to the downside, forming an A, B, and a C, something like this, looking to target out this zone of this 0 0.618 to this uh, 26153 level. Now, that would be looking at this as a, um, as a W, X, and a Y. If we are looking at this rather as a flat correction here, where we want to say that this could be A, this could be B, and then we're looking for the C wave to the downside, this would mean that we'd have to actually be um, arguing that we're still within that fifth wave here and we haven't actually completed it. So this is why I'm saying, you know, we need to just be careful here because there's many ways of counting this could be a corrective move down here and then we just look to blast off to the upside alternatively even if we do get a corrective move down we could get just another corrective move up and another corrective move down looking to bring us back down into some of these lower levels here possibly back into this channel line and then uh, look for that possibility of that continuation at a later date now the key thing that i want to see here in the shorter term is that if we continue to break down the way we are, because now I think we've actually hit that possible target area for that um, C wave now. We haven't quite hit this 1618 yet, but if we do continue down here and we do move down into this 1618, what I want to see is whether we actually develop a fourth and a fifth here, and then what happens after this point. If we do form this as one, two, three, four, and five, then, if we get three waves up, we could get continuation down. If we reverse and take this high here, this confirms the idea of this as a flat correction here, where we could actually then be looking for this whole move to either be W, X, Y over here, 
and that's completed in which case we could be looking for a reversal to the upside or alternatively we hit this we get a three-way move back up so we get a five-way move down we get a three-way move back up and then we look for continuation down looking for some of these lower target levels looking at the cpr on the daily what we can see here is that actually price found support on this moved up hit this s3 line and has rejected back down into these central cpr lines again so if we continue to hold this level here of this uh, 30,517, then potentially we do have that possibility price could look to reverse back to the upside here and what i'd be looking at would be actually looking to see whether we come back up and we hit this 31,529 and this uh, 31,874 if however we start to lose these central cpr lines we could see price get gravitated towards one of these lower levels here this 30,180 29,847 this level here this 29,496 and this 29,163 as possible target areas like I said previously this um, R3 here would be quite an interesting level because we have this low over here so if we see price continue to break down here I would be very interested to see how we react around this low of this 29,514 now if we come over here and actually throw this on to the weekly what we can see is we're still currently holding these central CPR lines. And we we're talking about this yesterday, saying we're consolidating within this. If we do manage to break above, we have that possibility of hitting that S1 line. And we literally just came up, hit this, and then went back down. Now we have come back into this. I want to see if we find support. If we continue to find support here, then potentially what we could see is price react back to the upside, looking for this S2 line, which is here at this 32248. And this level here of this 33,209, losing these central CPR lines and actually coming back through and flipping these into resistance could mean that we actually see price be gravitated towards these this 29,649. We have this uh, 28,679 and this 27,858 as possible target areas to the downside for this week. Now, coming over on to the monthly, we are still currently above these CPR lines, so. Even if we did see one of those other options playing out where we're looking to come back down here where this is WX and we get ABC, for instance, these um, central CPR lines could potentially offer us support for this month. So we have this 29,686, we have the 28,913, and we have this level here of this 28,122. So if we do see price come back down here in a corrective way, what we can see is that price could still look to actually be gravitated towards this higher line here that we have at this uh, 33k level so going to be keeping an eye on that if we do get interaction with these i want to see whether we start to develop impulsive structure to the upside uh, but really we still haven't invalidated that idea of that one two one two but uh, it is very deep at this point so it is looking quite unlikely that that's going to play out but we haven't invalidated yet and stranger things have happened so what i'm looking for here now is if we do maintain these we could potentially look to target some of the higher levels this 33k like i said this 35 541 and this uh, 39620 level alternatively if we do look to actually break to the downside here we start to lose these central cpr lines we could actually see price come back down towards this 26342 which would align with a channel retest this is why i'm keeping an eye on that level alternatively if we're looking at the idea this develops into a flat correction we do have that possibility that we could see price start to break down to this r2 at this 22249 and this lower level here of this 19740 okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it's free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care